What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen 720, and I'm back with another video. And I thought it was me, you know, probably one of the few jokers on YouTube that really sits behind and pumps his fist for the Xbox brand. You know, guys, I play on everything, but the Xbox, you know, the Xbox Live will always hold a special place in my heart. Now, with that being said, you know, from the likes of the show, yo, to the 10 Ultra, everyone says, I guess they call, you know, people that play on the Xbox Frozen. Saying they don't have any games, don't have any exclusives. So this article that I read here is saying that um, Microsoft is working on a thing with four to five first party titles, launch titles for the Xbox 720. It says Microsoft is working on a number of launch titles for the new for its new Xbox console. One of the first games to launch on the next Xbox will be called Rise. According to multiple, multiple sources familiar with Microsoft's plans, Microsoft originally they uh, unveiled Rise at E3 2011 uh, and and was promised to be an Xbox 360 exclusive uh, to take, you know, advantage of the Kinect. Um, well, that was supposed to come out in 2012, we didn't hear anything else about it. Now they're saying, uh, Virgin understands that Crytek, along with Microsoft Studio, have been rewriting the game to take advantage of its next generation console due later this year. We're told that Rise is designed to be Microsoft's new Gears of War and a Halo Mega launch title. It's set in the Roman Empire, period, and uses Deep Connect in. You know, functionality allows players to slash and kick at enemies. We understand that Rise will take advantage of the new body tracking and improvements in the next uh, uh, Kinect sensor. Rise is part of four major launch titles for the next generation Xbox. The source tells us that the new Forza, I don't really care for Forza, with, uh, with super light graphics will also be made available at launch alongside a zombie game and some family, family type game that uses uh, Disney Island Pixar type graphics or some shit. But, you know, y'all always talking about, you know, Microsoft don't have any. Uh, Exclusives, you know. Learn but yeah, like I said, y'all was talking about. Like I said, they ain't got no exclusives, man. So that ain't the case, man. Microsoft, because they're being tight lip, you know what I mean? Uh, like I said, I, I said that maybe they're, you know, because they, they're not putting out nothing so far in 2013. But Gears of War, and I wish they would have pushed Gears of War back to, and let that be a launch uh, Xbox 720, uh, 720 launch title. But you know. That's not the case, but I said that Microsoft not being quiet for nothing. They're going to come out swinging. Also, in the next um, Xbox 720 news, they're saying that the Xbox 720 is going to have an HDMI import. Saying that you're going to be able to plug your cable box into the motherfucking uh, Xbox 720. And, it's going to, and the Xbox 720 is going to take control of the your cable box. Whatever the fuck that means. You know what I mean? I will leave a link in all the descriptions. You know, and also they were shooting other rumors about the Xbox 720 uh, being, you know, for it, that it's been about the all, always online, saying that's a bunch of bullshit, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm hyped, I'm excited, you know what I mean? I don't really give two shits about the Kinect, but if a game like this looks, I okay, will post a link in the description, you guys can look at the, uh, at the gameplay. And this was shown on the Xbox 360 uh, hardware back in E3 2011. And, you know, if you know who Crytek is, Crytek are the mastermind behind Crisis. And if they're going to do it again, you know the graphics are going to be nice. And like I said, it's not too much about graphics. I mean, I, was like, I don't like those gimmicky type shit. I, if it takes a full advantage to connect and it's a real action game, you mean this motherfucker shooting behind walls and this gory, bloods and gore, and this, and this done right, I said I'm all about it. Um, it says the new Xbox may feature an entire channel of original shows, adding yet another piece of speculation to the pile of next Xbox runners. You know, I, Microsoft was looking to be your one-stop shop for everything. Your music, movies, and media. You know what I mean? Even when, like I said, this room said that the, the next Xbox will have a HDMI import. I'm sorry, HDMI in port. You know what I mean? Not out, in. You know what I mean? So most likely you're going to plug your Xbox to the TV, your cable box to the Xbox, and you probably won't ever have to cut the Xbox 720 off. You know, they said some rumors are saying also it's going to have a, you know, like a TV tuner. And, um, like, you're going to be able to record TV shows and basketball games, all types of shit like that on it. You know what I mean? Like I said, I don't know. We're going to wait and see. Like I said, I'm excited. You know, I guess, you know, Microsoft's been getting a lot of bad news as of late. You know, and all hasn't been peachy. You know, they fired my man that made those, you know, remarks on Twitter. That was kind of harsh. And he wasn't talking to the public. He was talking to another journalist. And I think all that shit just got blown out of proportion. You know, a lot of motherfuckers hate Microsoft. You know what I mean? Like I said, there's not many Microsoft fans here on YouTube either, so I'm like one of the last of the Mohegans, man. Real talk. 
But anyway, I'm about to wrap this video up. Let me know what you guys think about those next generation Xbox 720 rumors. Exclusive title, launch titles, not exclusive, launch titles. So, look like Microsoft's going to have at least four launch titles, exclusive launch titles that launch. I think that's dope shit. You know what I mean? Me, personally, I don't really care for Forza. I, you know, to, I like more of a, I'm more of a Project Gotham guy, I'm more of a Need for Speed guy. Never cared for Grand Theft Auto, no Grand Theft I'm sorry, I never cared for Grand Turismo, never really cared for Forza. You know, it's, you know, I don't like those really driving simulated games. I don't want to haul ass around the corner, I want to drift, you know, I mean, that's just me. But anyway, I'm about to wrap this video up, and as I always say, bang, bang, <laughs> I'm about to hop on Steam in this big picture mode, man. Also, listen. Let me know what you think, man. Uh, I've always been a Samsung type guy. You know, I mean, all my TVs that I own are Samsungs, you know. You know. But uh, Sony right now has a 4K television on BestBuy.com. It's only like 7000 It's not, you know, 15 Like I said, even if I got it or not, I would never pay fifteen grand for a TV. 7000 I'll do. I know me. I, I, go, I go straight out the window here first. Crack! But like I said, uh, it's not a Samsung brand. It's a Sony brand. You know, I have all my TVs, Blu-ray for everything I buy at Samsung, you know what I mean? Because me, I'm bad remotes, and I like that I can go around the house, upstairs, downstairs with one damn remote. Click, 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 you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Damn, just some, I don't, Sony, you know what I mean? And I'm thinking, always, normally, like, you know, throughout history, Sony brands have always been more expensive than anything. You know what I mean? Whether they laptops or anything, I'm just thinking this shit. If Sony got their 4K TV right now, it's in Best Buy for six, six or 7,000. I know Samsung might come up with one for like 5,500. Y'all gonna learn the day they come on. Man, my man Jay said it. Jay got a new ill song. This shit hot. But anyway, I'm about to wrap this shit up, man. I hop. Forget at me, man. Xbox 720. 